Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to today's capsule course. And in the today's session, guys, I will be discussing a very common topic from SOM and RCC, which is known as modular ratio. And let us discuss this topic not individually in both the subjects as collective in a single topic for both the subjects so with this you should try to do this exercise with the other subjects also if you find something which is common in different subjects try to reduce your syllabus by learning all of those topics in a collective form let us do this exercise today for modular ratio right so firstly let me introduce myself guys my name is rohan goel and I have a master's degree in structure engineering from IIC Bangalore. I have scored an all India rank of 96 in GATE 2020. And these are the subjects that I teach at Baiju's exam prep. Further, the PDF of the today's session is also going to be provided to you on my telegram channel that is Civil by Rohan Goyal. You can join my telegram channel by searching Civil by Rohan Goyal or you can either use this link as well. In this, I will be taking all these things collectively. So, let us start with the today's session. Now, where do we require modular ratio? Now, modular ratio is required whenever you are required to analyze the effect of a bending or effect of any axial load in a composite material. Suppose if you have RCC. RCC in RCC you have working stress method. Working stress method is also referred to as modular ratio method because it is based on the modular ratio itself. So in the RCC we use even in strength of material also whenever we analyze composite beams which are made of two or more than two materials such as over here you see a beam which is made of steel and copper or you may have also studied flitched beams in which a wooden beam is reinforced with steel at a top and bottom. So those kinds of beams are referred to as composite beam when there are more than one material. So how to analyze the effect of bending movement let us say in such type of beams we use the concept of modular ratio. Now how do modular ratio help us? Let us understand the concept through a very simple example. Let us have a, let us let us take we have a RCC beam for example. It could be any other material also in between but I am taking it to be steel. Suppose this is a column which I am having which is subjected to some payload. Okay and this is the cross section. Now suppose this is your area of concrete. Let us say this is your area of steel. And this is your area of concrete. Now the total load P is going to be resisted collectively by both the materials. So total load is equal to load resisted by the steel plus load resisted by the concrete. Okay. Now this we can say is a simple equilibrium equation. So load resisted by the steel is equal to stress in steel into area of steel plus in concrete stress in concrete into area of concrete clear now let us say this is our first equation now further due to this load p the element is going to deform by certain amount let us say some delta amount it is deforming some delta amount it is deforming now do you notice one thing over here both concrete and steel are deforming by the same amount over here. Both of them are having the same deformation. What does it mean? It means that there is strain compatibility between both the materials. Now, this implies that deflection in steel is equal to deflection in concrete. That means there is strain compatibility. That means both are going to behave as a single unit. That is why they are referred to as composite material. Now, what is deflection? PL upon I, load in steel, length is same for both the material, area of steel into Young's modulus of velocity of steel, which is equal to load in concrete, length is same, area of concrete into Young's modulus of velocity of concrete. Now, what is load upon area? That is stress in steel upon L will cancel out in both of upon Young's modulus of steel is equal to stress in concrete upon Young's modulus of velocity of concrete. Now let if I write it like this, can I write it sigma of steel upon sigma of concrete is equal to Young's modulus of steel upon Young's modulus of concrete and this itself the ratio of Young's modulus of velocity to the Young's modulus of con concrete is referred to as modular ratio in working stress method. Working stress method. Okay, now what is this use? What is the use of this? Let us write it, your sigma of steel is equal to 
एम टाइम्स सिग्मा ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट ओके लेटर सब्सिट्यूट दिस इन दिस इक्वेशन नंबर वन सब्सिट्यूट दिस इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन इक्वेशन नंबर वन नाउ व्हेन वी सब्सिट्यूट दिस इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन द इक्वेशन नंबर वन विल लुक समवट लाइक दिस सो टोटल लोड इज इक्वल टू स्ट्रेस इन स्टील विल बी एम टाइम्स स्ट्रेस इन कॉन्क्रीट इंटू एरिया ऑफ स्टील प्लस स्ट्रेस इन कॉन्क्रीट इंटू एरिया ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट नाउ कैन आई टेक स्ट्रेस इन कॉन्क्रीट कॉमन एंड दिस विल कम आउट टू बी एम टाइम्स स्ट्रेस एरिया ऑफ स्टील प्लस एरिया ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट सो If you look over here, what have I done over here? I have taken stress in concrete common, and this can I say is the equivalent area of concrete. I have converted. I can assume that m time area of steel is the equivalent area of concrete. If I have to assume that, I am. I have only have to deal with concrete. I do not want to deal with the steel. I only want to deal with one one material. So I am converting. steel into concrete by multiplying it with modular ratio and i am getting equivalent area of concrete so what have how have i used modular ratio to convert my total area into equivalent area so i will replace i will replace i will replace this i will replace this i will replace this steel i will replace this steel with an equivalent area of concrete i will provide some additional area i will provide some additional area appropriately and i will do my analysis upon this additional area how much is this m times area of steel am i clear or not am i clear or not let us see this in more detail now how do we use this modular ratio what is the use of modular ratio the first use is to convert the area of steel in rcc section the area of steel is as in rcc the area of steel is as but in the equivalent section when we have converted the steel into concrete the area is m times as in the rcc section the stress in steel is sigma s but now in the equivalent section the stress will also be reduced in terms of concrete and sigma c is equal to sigma s by m so the in equivalent section the stress will be sigma c right now let us talk about the total force what is total force stress into area so it will become sigma s into as and what about over here stress area is m times as and stress is how much sigma s by m so m and m cancels out you get the total force as same theoretically we are changing steel into conc concrete but the total force remains the same the calculation remains the same the equivalence remains the same both the sections are mathematically equivalent so this is the use of modular ratio in rcc we convert the steel into equivalent concrete and we do all our analysis in concrete only now this same thing we have studied in a very basic format format in strength of material when you have studied composite materials now suppose we have to analyze a composite beam which is made up of steel and co copper now suppose young's modulus of steel we know that is greater than that of concrete so in this case the modular ratio is defined as mo young's modulus of velocity of the first material divided by the second material generally generally we try generally e1 greater than e2 we take generally okay it is up to us what do we want to take modular ratio what do we want to define over here i want to take e1 greater than e2 so young's modulus of velocity of steel to that of copper over here so from here i know that steel is stronger than copper okay now when i convert this into an equivalent either i will convert it into copper or i will convert it totally into steel if i convert steel into copper so i will provide greater area of copper because steel is more stronger so it will require greater area of copper that is from the calculations right so we will require because it will become m times area of steel yes or no so area will increase but when i 
decrease copper from steel so it will be area of copper divided by m so the width will decrease over here but all these three are equivalent to each other you will find the same analysis from all the three diagrams so i hope you understand the concept of modular ratio and i hope that you will now be able to link the concept of modular ratio from strength of material to rcc and you will see it as a collective topic you will not find it to be individual in both the subjects i think the session helps you and i will keep on bringing more such session for you all thank you everyone take care do not forget to subscribe to the baiju exam prep and if you want to more have want to like to have more such videos click on the like button and bell icon thank you everyone take care